Mm. Hi there, everyone. I'm with Jai Bryan, who's a musical theatre writer, composer, lyricist uh, from Sydney, who's joining us up here in sunny Queensland today. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, how are you feeling at the moment, Jai? Cold. Cold? Why cold. so cold? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is meant to be sunny Queensland. It is. And it's it freezing. It is a beautiful day. However, the wind is a little bit chilly. Uh, we are in the middle of winter, I believe, so coming up to the end of July. Got a few questions today, Jai. So we're looking at how creativity can be used or utilised to enhance well-being. So um, what's your definition of creativity? Uh, creativity, well, I, I sort of think creativity can include anything where you're making things that just didn't exist before, or maybe... Maybe they did exist, but maybe you're bringing them together to create something new that maybe you know wasn't wasn't as it was before. Excellent. So, what's an example of creativity? What what would what would you do in your line of work that's creative? Yeah, well, I guess that uh, creatively, you could be talking about musically, for instance, where you're creating pieces of music, songs, theatre. Uh, and you're bringing that all together, things that didn't exist before, um, but lining all of those things up using art forms yeah. and mediums. Absolutely. And, and, and how does it, or how have you found in your experience that creativity has been an enhancer for well-being, for people's well-being? Yeah, well, I think that creativity, especially when it involves connecting with other people, there's always a social element. There's a the self-expression that comes with that. Mm -hmm. uh, the exploring of who you are, who other people are, who you are when you're creating and, and doing things collaboratively with others. Uh, I think that's definitely a part of it. So between self-expression and maybe the social connection, I think they're two big uh, factors that, that really can influence well-being positively. Yeah, as we know, social is, is, is extremely important in our a lifestyle makeup, isn't it? So, what have you found that's been really good from a, a creative point of view that has helped enhance those social experiences? Um, whenever you're sort of creating things in groups or in pairs, when you're connecting with people over commonalities, you're trying to, I guess, see the world from different perspectives, yeah. hearing other people and hearing their take on stuff can sort of, I think, increase empathy. Yeah. Um, and maybe just give you some real sense of your connection to, to others as well in terms of the, the way you see the world and the way they see the world. Yeah. Okay. So when did you start feeling an appreciation for creativity? When was, when was your, what's your journey? Yeah, well, my, my initial uh, journey would have probably been as a kid. Yeah. Um, when I was probably about three or four, I, I wanted desperately to learn piano. Mm -hmm. Um, and so from there, it, it, from there it went on. I learned piano when it, and before too long. I was writing songs and pieces of music. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So with creativity, what would you recommend to someone that doesn't really dabble too much in creativity? What, what, what would they find as, a, I guess, a, an entry level mm. um, to start thinking outside the, outside of the, the, the norm? Yeah. Um, to create, as you were saying, something from nothing. What would be a good way to start that? Well, I think it's probably best to jump on things that already exist. You know, that's probably the best idea, jumping into maybe community groups where there are opportunities to be creative, whether that's art, dancing, maybe it's, you know, a drumming circle, all of those sorts of things. I think they're really accessible ways. Yeah. Uh, there's plenty of things out there. We know that there's community theatre groups, there's choirs, there's all of those sort of things. Often very social opportunities to connect. Yeah. Um, so there would be that. And I guess the other thing is if you've got particular interest in music or instruments, it's maybe investing in those things, whether it's learning an instrument, uh, getting a singing teacher, all of that stuff. Yeah, so, you know, ask yourself that question. What is something that you haven't tried just yet that you know is a creative outlet, um, it's a way to express yourself. Uh, as Jai's mentioned, there's a few ideas that are there, but yeah, really sort of ask yourself the question, you know, what's something that I can try that I haven't tried before? Um, 
and all the benefits that come with that. As, as we've been saying here thematically, it helps out with general well-being uh, in a way to express yourself. There's different ways of doing that. Um, but what is one sort of takeaway that you would say, Jai, that is definitely a benefit um, to have an outlook to jump into creativity to share with people? Like, it's not just a social thing, but what else can it, it actually do? Like, I guess from a legacy point of view, Ooh. or from a um, um, being permissive to other people to try the same sort of thing as well, what's what sort of a takeaway with your creative work that you like to share with people? Yeah, I, I think there's definitely there's the, the legacy part. There's the the fact that you've created something that didn't exist beforehand, I think, is a very special and uniquely human experience. So yeah. I think it's it's that. There's that sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Yeah. Um, and if there is the social element, there's there's also the the fact that you've shared something with others. Um, I guess if you're being creative, if you're making art, you might exhibit that art or you might put it on stage or you might perform it or whatever whatever the medium is. Mm -hmm. And so you have these shared experiences that can connect you to other humans. When other humans see it or experience it, that, that there's a, a transcendence that can happen, I think, with that. That's a good point. Um, you know, a lot of people, I guess, through art, if you've ever been to an art gallery, uh, you can identify with a, a piece of art or listen to a type of music and you can identify with the story that's involved with that too. So, you know, it also helps people not feel so lonely. That's right. Um, they can identify with something which has been shared by the artist. So That's right. Many, many benefits. And in that light too, what is one particular piece that you'd like to share? I'm going to put a, a link in the YouTube video here. But what is one particular piece of creativity that you've, that you've put together that you feel would, would help demonstrate um, the power of creativity for your well-being? Uh, well, I guess there's a whole heap of different uh, examples of that, but uh, and each piece that I've created has its own, its own life and its own fan base uh, and its own message, I guess. So yeah. I think it's a bit difficult to, to list just one, but I find that in some, some situations that particularly my musical, the Cap Captain Moonlight. I was in a rehearsal once where, where a performer had said, had thanked me for writing the piece, the, the musical, yeah. and um, it was really at that moment that I'd realised when they said that was that this joining together of this cast sort of created something that, an opportunity that never existed before. It gave them an opportunity to to come together, to sing songs, to tell sto a joint story. And that's an opportunity that wouldn't have existed had I not created it. So yeah. I think it's it's really about that, isn't it? It's that there's a... Opportunistic in, value. That's right. There's, there's something there that, that when we're creating, it's not just something that is created and thrown away, but it could be something that has an ongoing impact in the world, whether that's your artwork that moves different audiences or yep. or a musical that people can continue to stage for years later. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, creativity, uh, creating something from nothing that actually has legs that can go on for quite a, a period of time. I mean, there's a lot of power, though, isn't there? That's it? right. Um, but messaging, um, what you can have within that creative message that helps people feel acknowledged, uh, loved, that's right. Uh, appreciate it. I mean, there's so many different ways of um, theming up your creative 